Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it is like five after four on Thursday. I did get one lens. And when I checked the tracking, I noticed that they must have, they being MPB, must have put in for a return because the 18 to 55 lens that I said that I didn't want, that they shipped anyways, actually was shipped out and then reverted and went back to where it came from. So I'm guessing they stopped it in time, which means I don't have to get it and send it back. It also means that I'm not going to be doing any kind of comparison on the lens, but I kind of figured I wasn't anyways. I pretty much already had my mind made up about doing the 16 to 80 f4 lens. So here it is. Ooh, ah, and I am just about to go into Great Neck Park and do some photography just to test it out. And you know, I always go there to test my stuff out. Now remember, I'm only shooting still shots with this. I'm not doing any video on it. I'm not even gonna bother testing it or, or I, I don't even think I've set it up for what I would shoot if I were gonna shoot it with video. Now, that might be kind of silly because apparently this is a beast and it is an, like an all around fantastic camera, both stills and especially for video. But for now, that's what I've got Sony for. And I'm waiting for my FX30 to come in to get my shooting video shooting rig all set up and done them once for all. So I'm stoked that I finally got this. I've been doing day job stuff throughout the day. I'm as far as I can go. I'm waiting on people to get back to me as usual. So not much else to do today. I thought I had a massage today, but I guess I scheduled that for tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow afternoon I'll have a massage and that's, uh, I have, a, I guess I have a call in the morning, which will be my last team call on the old team. Blah, whatever. Let's go shoot some pictures. Okay, kids, here we are at Great Neck Park. So one of the things that I had thought about since I started doing this, and I talk about this all the time, is my flow. You got to have your flow. And sometimes finding that flow and then maintaining it are incredibly challenging. Uh, challenges that you can have along the way you could be dirt ass poor and you couldn't afford to go out and buy any new gear whatsoever. And I was thinking to myself, you know, everything that I buy is geared to help me get the shot. The shot might be whatever I'm thinking about shooting at that particular time. So if I have my iPhone on me or my S22 Ultra, or I have one of my Sony cams, or an Insta360, or a GoPro, or this Fuji X-T4. All of this shit is designed to help me get the shot. I could stand here and I could take a picture of that tree with one of, let's see, three devices that I have on me. This Insta360, my Fuji X-T4, or the iPhone 13 Pro Max in my pocket. All three of them would give me a different shot. Th the overall general I'm pointing in the direction the tree is going to be in the center, the, I'll get that shot, but it might not be the shot that I have in my mind that's stuck up in my melon that I envision when I look at that tree and I think this is what I want to do. Everything that I use outside of that camera is something that, that is an additional purchase as an additional tool to help me get my vision out of my melon. So that means I buy a Fuji X-T4 because I want to shoot still pictures with it. I want to get that shot. And I had in my head the kind of shots that I wanted to get. And I know that I wanted to get something that had like a very almost vintage feel with an old film look and I wanted to do it straight out of camera. Nothing's changed. I freaking hate editing. I hate editing photos and I hate editing video. I know that's awful of me and I know that's one of the biggest things that, that, that any successful person will tell you is that you have to learn to edit. You have to learn how to love editing because that's what you have to do in order to, to make your shots the way you want them to be. I want to create the shot with the look that I want 
as much in camera as possible. So there's a few things that are gonna help me do that. Number one is a camera, whatever that may be. A lens, filters, external lights, grips, straps, microphones, you know, everything. All the shit that we buy, all the, all the lighting that we put up in our house, all the paneling that we put up in our house, all of the backdrops that we put up, all of the shit that we carry around with us if we were going to go into the woods and do a photo shoot. All that stuff is designed just to help you get that shot. I don't need all of this shit to take a picture of that tree. Do I need it in order to get the, the shot? Yeah, probably. It's going to help me do that. Or I could buy a really old, and I'm, I'm just holding this up, I don't consider this a really old shitty camera, but I could get a very old shitty camera, I could snap a pic of that, and then I could spend six to eight hours in Photoshop, which is also something that you have to have. You have to have a computer and you have to have the software in order to pull all that shit off there and to edit your photos. So I could sit there for six to eight hours on one little shitty snapshot with an old 10 year old point and shoot camera. And I could get probably, if not, dead on what I was looking for, but pretty damn close. But there's no freaking way that the monkey's going to sit there for eight hours editing one shot. I would like to be able to do that in camera. So the entirety of the past 15 plus years that I've been doing this, I have been very much about getting the shot in camera so that there really isn't any editing other than maybe zooming in, reframing it, perhaps now since I started shooting in RAW and RAW became better and software became better, going in and maybe fixing the exposure a little bit, which is especially necessary if you're shooting birds out in the woods because they're not going to sit there and pose for you the way you want them to. They're not going to look in the right direction that makes the color off their beak and feathers pop the right way. And they're sure as hell not going to like wait for the sun to go behind a cloud shit like that so that yes you have to do some editing but for the most part that's all i do i fix exposure uh, maybe fix white balance but usually not most of the stuff that i show you is all straight out of camera other than cropping and zooming and i told you this before i bought this camera because i wanted to do straight out of the camera shots with the the recipes but the two that I'm using are Nomadic Mood, which is all the color stuff, and then the Dude for any black and white. And all that shit is designed so that when I take that shot, that's the shot. At this point now, all this stuff is about, uh, over the years, of me buying all these different cameras and all of these lenses. It, it's all designed as a way for me to have options in order to get the shot that's in my melon out into the world. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna go take some pictures. I'm just gonna end this video with a series of pictures that I'm taking with the Fujifilm X-T4 and the Fujinon XF 16 to 80 F4 R OIS WR lens. Let's check it out, see what it's worth. Okay, so I didn't take a lot of pictures. There's only so many pictures I can take of a tree, you know? So I'm not gonna belabor this. I just wanted to get it and let you know that I got it and I'm happy about it. So for now, I'm done with buying anything for this Fuji camera. It's all set up the way I want. I've got the recipes that I want. Eventually I'll start trying new ones or maybe I'll make my own. But for now, I'm all set. That's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.